Salutations to technology junkies everywhere. My name is Raymond J Parker and this is a follow up to my Galaxy Note 2 unboxing video. I thought it might be fun to put the original Galaxy Note up against the new contender, the Galaxy Note 2, and put these phones head to head and see who wins. Because I know that a lot of you are going to be sitting there with the original Note thinking, should I upgrade? Should I upgrade? Is it worth it? Will it make me a happier person? Will it make me a better human being? Will it fulfill my life? Well, I'm here to answer that question. So here we go. We'll put these two phones head to head and see who wins. Two phones enter. One phone leaves. Contender ready. Gladiator ready. Let's rock. Okay, let's begin the comparison of these two devices. So let's start with the screen. Now, the most significant change is in the original notes we had a 5.3 inch screen and a 16 by 10 aspect ratio and this made the phone very wide and so it approached for me the maximum that was comfortable to actually hold in the hand. What they've done with the new note is they've made it a little bit taller so the screen is now 5.5 inches but the aspect ratio is 16 by 9 so it's slightly narrower and it does make the device more comfortable to hold. Now the screen on the original Note was uh, rightly regarded as being a fantastic screen but I think you can see very close side by side that the new Note it really does blow it away in terms of colour, saturation, contrast ratio. Um, the screen on this device is a pentile screen which means that when you hold it off centre it tends to look a little bit, you probably can't see it in this video, but it does tend to look a little bit sort of bluish or greenish. However, when you hold this screen off centre, the viewing angles, you know, become exceptional and they're pretty much, you know, full viewing angle no matter where you're holding it. So this is definitely overall a better screen and also different aspect ratio makes the device easier to hold. So Point one, comparison of the screens, I would say it's a win for the Note 2. Okay, let's compare the core specifications of both devices. When the original Note launched last year, it was, at the time, the most powerful phone you could buy. It had a 1.4 GHz dual-core processor, a 1 GB of RAM, and a very large 2500 mAh battery, which were monster specs for a phone last year. However, the new Note eclipses that in almost every way. Here we have a quad core, 1.6 gigahertz processor, 2 gig of RAM on board, and an absolutely stonking 3100 milliamp hour battery. And I've got to say already, the battery life in this phone for me has been absolutely exceptional. Whether it's down to the size of the battery or better management software uh, in the actual device, I don't know, but the battery life has just been absolutely stellar. So, as you can see, the original Note is still a very powerful device, but this one, wow, it's absolutely mega. The speed is just crazy. All right, now let's have a look at some of the other uh, parts of the phone and we'll do a quick comparison. Okay, so I've taken the backs off both devices here just so we can have a little look and compare. So here's the original Note. There's our 2,500 milliamp hour battery and full size SIM card slot. And there's a micro SD slot right there. And on the new notes, you can probably see very clearly much more substantial battery. That's our 3,100 milliamp hour battery. And uh, there is a SIM, it's a micro SIM this time, micro SIM card. And then is, there's the SD card. Now, actually, um, the original note was supposed to only support a 32 gigabyte micro SD card, but you could in fact make a 64 gigabyte card work with it. However, this one supports right out of the gate 64 gigabytes. And also storage options, slightly different on this phone. You could get this in 16 or 32 gigabyte internal storage. This one, 16, 32 or 64. So they're definitely giving you more options. So you can have potentially on this phone 128 gigabytes of storage, which is just crazy for a phone. And as far as I know, that's the most of any phone available at the moment. All right, that's cool. Let's have a look at the S Pen next. Okay, well, one of the interesting things about the Galaxy Note phones is the inclusion of the stylus which Samsung like to call the S Pen or I suppose we could call it the Spen though did he not used to manage the England football team you know Spen Goran Eriksson I can't remember anyway let's have compare the two against each other 
Uh, you can clearly see, well, the new stylus is quite a bit longer than the old one, and it's also thicker, and interestingly enough, it is um, beveled on the edges, so it doesn't roll. The other pen, if you push it, it'll just roll, and it'll roll right off the, uh, the table, just like that. This one, you push it, look, it doesn't roll. I don't know if you can see the shape of it clearly, but it's... It's got almost sort of triangular sort of design and it's a much more useful and uh, much more tactile, I think because it's longer actually feels like you can use it. Always felt the other one was a bit small. So that's definitely an improvement. And in terms of software, uh, the new uh, pen, S-Pen, Spen, has been given a lot of added functionality. Um, features like AirView, which have been uh, significantly improved. So uh, overall, I would say that the implementation of the pen in the new note is a lot more practical and useful and usable. So whereas when I use my old note, the pen used to pretty much stay tucked away in this little container all the time. Very rarely used it. This one I've used quite a bit more. So I would say definitely it's a win. They've improved that quite a bit. All right, well, that's the external look at the phone. Let's look at uh, some of the uh, software goodness inside it. Eh? Okay, let's do a brief comparison of the software both phones are running. This won't be an in-depth review, as I'm far from being a tech expert, but let's just have a quick comparison. So, um, the uh, original Note that is currently running Ice Cream Sandwich, uh, originally when the Note shipped it was running Gingerbread, but has since been upgraded to ICS. Maybe we can get it to show, there we go, Ice Cream Sandwich. But as you probably know, the uh, new Note, well that is running the latest iteration of Android, which is, oops, it's a jelly bean. And there we go, Mr. Jelly Bean, awesome. And the main difference that I think you'll notice is just the responsiveness of the OS. It's incredibly responsive. Whereas, you know, you can actually see on the original note, there is a little bit of lag. It's just a little bit sticky. Same thing, we won't launch the app draw. Yep. See? No lag. Very noticeable lag there, I think. You notice that? Same with the widgets. We bring in the widgets. It all feels a bit sticky, doesn't it? Whereas this, beautifully smooth. Part of the reason for that is that uh, the new version, the jelly bean that this phone is running, has something in it which Google call Project Butter, which is a project that they developed to help eliminate the lag in Android. And I would say pretty much that's been successful because I have experienced no lag in this phone at all. Whereas the old Note, well, did occasionally feel just a little bit sticky. Actually, when I originally got this phone, I had gingerbread on it, which was very smooth indeed. But then after the ICS upgrade, I started noticing lag and certainly the battery life was quite a lot worse after that. So um, that's why I've really noticed the improved battery life on this phone, I think. So whatever's in the operating system that's causing, you know, the phone to lag or causing the battery to drain is certainly not in this one. So all that's a software issue and no points to Samsung for releasing buggy software. But uh, this iteration, I think they've got everything right and it just seems absolutely awesome. It's just so incredibly smooth and uh, yeah, you really notice a difference. So I would say without going to in-depth review of the operating system in terms of smoothness and responsiveness. This is something the best phone I've ever owned and uh, really does put the old note. I'm sorry to say it because I've loved this phone over the last year, but it puts this uh, old note to shame. So it's another win for the Note 2. Okay, well that is the end of my brief comparison of these two phones. I'm sure I could go on at great length about both of them, but the risk of boring you, I'm not going to. So, do we have a winner? We have the original Note, still a great phone, love this phone very much, and then the Note 2. Well, I think unfortunately we do have a clear winner, and it is the Note 2, because from a hardware point of view, completely obliterates the original Note, and the software now, Jelly Bean, is very refined indeed and at least on a par now with iOS. Incredibly fluid and responsive, so that's the other reason why the Note 2 wins. So there we go. The answer to your question is should you upgrade? Yeah, upgrade now, upgrade yesterday.
or at least upgrade tomorrow because it's an absolutely stonking device, stonking device, the best phone I've ever used by a country mile. So totally recommend it. Get yourself a Galaxy Note 2. Right, well, that's the end of that. Before I go, I would like to encourage you to head on over to my website, which is uh, www.roundjparker.com, which is a site dedicated to all things guitar. So if you love guitar, check it out. Got a ton of stuff there. On my YouTube channel, which hopefully you're watching right now, which is a YouTube channel, Rowan J. Parker. And then on Twitter, if you like Twitter, at Rowan J. Parker. If you want to hear my sounds um, in audio instead of video, you can get me on SoundCloud at Rowan Parker. All right, well, it's been an absolute blast doing these tech videos. It's not really my thing because I'm not a tech professional. I'm just a, an Android fan, humble Android fan. But it's been a blast showing you this stuff. It's been absolutely rock and roll. We enjoyed it very much. And so, Get yourself a Galaxy Note 2. I'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Farewell. <laughs>